Hello and welcome to Roving Report, a program that looks at the Northeast in all its dimension and brings you the changing mood and tenor of the region in all its colors. I'm your host Lumpen Vashum and the highlights of today's program are People in the Northeast gear up to vote for peace and development. Tripura to start exporting bamboo tiles to European market. Weavers and artisans from Northeast get exposure at an expo in Imphal. And Tripura hosts cultural festival to propagate the message of peace and unity. Like the rest of the country, states in the Northeast are gearing up for the 16th Lok Sabha elections that will begin next week. While preparations to conduct the polls in a peaceful manner are in full swing, people in the region are enthusiastically looking forward to exercising their franchise as they seek peace, prosperity and development. We have a report. From 7th April, people across the country will exercise their voting rights to choose their representatives in the 16th general elections. In the Northeast, preparations are in full swing to conduct free and fair elections. While Arunachal Pradesh is going to polls on 9th April, Assam will have the elections on 7th, 12th and 24th, Manipur on 9th and 17th, Nagaland, Meghalaya and Mizoram on 9th, Sikkim on 12th and Tripura on 7th and 12th of April. In Manipur, people want their representatives to work for peace and socio-economic development. An end to prolonged insurgency and economic prosperity is what the people want as they gear up to cast their votes. In Assam, which goes to polls in three phases on 7th, 12th and 24th, the people want their representatives to work for peace, development and women's safety. They also want them to take care of issues related to unemployment and provide a transparent governance system. Whoever government comes to reign, definitely people will expect that there should be some peace, there should be some progress, there should be some kind of transparency and accountability of the, of the government. The governance should be clean and justice should prevail. The government has come, they have come to our country, 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 and the employment will also be reduced. In Tripura, which has been reaping the peace dividend, the people are looking forward to greater development and prosperity. People here want the government to ensure progress and peace in the state. We want this corruption should be under control. And of course, employment is a big issue. People should get employed. And this employment generation opportunities should be expanded in all across the country. <laughs> तो जो इन्फ्लेशन है वो भी उसका भी नियंत्रण आना चाहिए और साथ ही साथ सारे विश्व के अंदर हमारे देश का एक प्रभाव बने ऐसी सरकार आना चाहिए पीपल इन नागालैंड वांट एन अर्ली पॉलिटिकल सॉल्यूशन टू द नागा प्रॉब्लम दे आर फेड अप विद प्रोलॉन्ग्ड इंसर्जेंसी एक्सटॉर्शन एंड एथनिक वायलेंस Unemployment, peace, price hike, economic growth and stability will be the deciding parameters in Nagaland and other parts of the northeastern region. In Arunachal Pradesh, Mizoram, Meghalaya and Sikkim, the people want better connectivity, infrastructure development, employment generation and much more from the coming elections. The Northeast has vast reserves of bamboo, which if utilized properly can boost the state's economy, besides providing employment to many people. A first-of-its-kind bamboo tiles factory set up in the state's Bamboo Park will soon start producing and exporting tiles to the European market. We have report. 
a Mumbai-based company, Mutha Industries Private Limited, that had set up a factory in Western Tripura to make bamboo floor tiles, will soon start exporting to European countries. The factory, set up at the Bamboo Park in Bhodjunj Nagar Industrial Growth Centre, is the first of its kind in the country. Production has already started in the plant and in the next three months, international standard commercial production will start. Technologies and machinery from foreign countries are being used in the unit and the employees have been trained by overseas trainers. There is a huge demand for bamboo floor tiles in the outside market. We are having started with strand bone bamboo wood flooring. In the feel or look is exactly like hardwood flooring, but it's uh, many times better. The most important thing that this is an eco-friendly product and made in India for the first time, for the first of its kind bamboo park here in India established. So that was also the reason where we found that uh, Tripura is the state. They are taking initiatives to promote bamboo. The Tripura government started developing India's first bamboo park five years ago in order to give a boost to bamboo-based industries. This unit has come as a boon for a large number of people by providing them employment opportunities. The company also plans to expand bamboo plantation in the state so as to get the required raw material and also provide employment to the bamboo farmers. So, Mutha Industries is a bus kina for a Amade Eleka Dehaza Hane, bus kintegia, prosur, bus zarana, bus sashira, upukito. Can I have Mutha company directly mane, zarana, supply, mana, gram the collection corse, Amra para 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 gay, Eleka de collection corse. Can the Sir John Mane Eleka, mana, Lubag, Geno, bus sashira, Kube, mana, upukito, can a Mutha company as a porre, can a bus big regular, Kununi Sinta, can Amra para para the gay or can a collection corse. On a local cellar, I made a cascoche. With the decline of insurgency, many investors are now expressing interest in setting up industries in the state. There is a huge potential for export of bamboo products to international markets and the sector can generate jobs and good revenue for the state. The Northeast has huge reserves for bamboo, which is known as green gold of the region. There are at least 10 varieties of bamboo available in Tripura and approximately 145 in the entire country. Let us now take a look at some of the events that made news in the Northeast recently. On 31st March, President Pranab Mukherjee conferred Padma Awards, the highest civilian awards of the country, to 66 personalities at the Rashprati Bhavan in Delhi. A dancer from Manipur, Elam Indira Devi, received the Padma Shri Award for her contribution to the field of art. Four other personalities from the Northeast also received the award. This included P. Kilam Sungla from Nagaland, Chak Chuak Chuan Vavra from Mizoram, and Vaikom Gojain Mete from Manipur for Literature and Education, and Mukul Chandra Goswami from Assam for Social Work. A three day long Chow Parv, a festival of Chow dances, was recently held in Imphal. The event was organized by Sangeet Natak Academy, New Delhi and National Academy of Music, Dance and Drama in association with Jawaharlal Nehru Manipur Dance Academy at the Academy's Auditorium. More than 100 artists from across the country participated in the festival and performed different forms of dances. The festival was organized for the first time in the state and it attracted many art lovers. Jorhat recently hosted a five-day-long Northeast Drama Festival at the District Library. Hundreds of art and drama lovers of the state thronged the venue and appreciated the work of the artists. This is the first time that the National School of Drama have chosen Jorhat as a venue for organizing the drama festival. 
On the first day, artists from the National School of Drama, Sikkim, put up a Nepali play. Several Assamese and Manipuri plays were also staged at the event. Mizoram's brood tribals, who have been seeking refuge in seven camps in Tripura, have cast their votes through postal ballots for the upcoming Lok Sabha polls. Tight security measures were in place in the relief camps, where facilitation centres were set up to enable the eligible refugee voters to cast their votes. Out of the 36,000 refugees, about 11,500 are listed in Mizoram's electoral rolls. The voting continued for three days, following which the Mizoram officials took the postal ballots to the respective counting centres. Hundreds of all Assam Student Union members took out a peaceful torch rally in Jorhat recently to protest against the influx of illegal immigrants from Bangladesh in the state. They have demanded constitutional safeguard for the indigenous people of Assam. The northeastern region has a rich handloom and handicrafts heritage. Recently, a National Handloom Expo was organized in Nepal with an aim to promote the handloom sector of the northeast and create a wider market for the weavers and artisans. We take a look. A two-week-long National Handloom Expo was held at Iboi Shang Lane in Nepal to promote the handloom sector. Weavers and artisans from across Manipur put together 61 stalls to showcase their handmade products. Excited customers thronged the expo to buy shawls, khudai, faniks, saris and much more. This is a very, uh, this play very vital role uh, in uh, marketing the product of uh, handloom weavers. And uh, such type of scheme is uh, being implemented uh, throughout India. And uh, this is as a part of North East Asian Textile Promotion Scheme. And uh, this, under this uh, uh, National Handloom Expo, the viewer get opportunity to sell their product under one umbrella. Meanwhile, visitors got a chance to buy products like stones, woodcraft and bamboo made items at a craft bazaar organized by Health and Development Organization. The work of the local artisans was much appreciated by the people. The northeastern region is famous for its exquisite and colorful hand woven clothes and craft work. And exhibitions like this one enable the craftspersons to directly reach the customers. Music holds an integral place in the lives of the youth from the Northeast, and many here harbor dreams of becoming international stars. Today, we introduce you to an upcoming indie rock band from Nagaland, We the Giants, that has managed to carve a niche for itself within a short span of time. Music is an art form that comes naturally to the Nagas. Alabo Naga and Band, Purple Fusion and Clueless Attention of Naga Land are few names that have made their presence felt internationally and inspired many upcoming rock bands. Dimapur's We The Giants is one such indie rock band. The band members include Kevi Pucho, vocalist, Lima Mongro, guitarist, Yankum Jinger, drummer, and I am Jamir and Maya Sunev Imchen on the bass guitar. We the Giants was born when various band members teamed up in 2013 before the Hornville Festival. The band has gained popularity in a short span of time. It clinched the first runner up title at the Hornville Rock Contest at Kohima. Music always played a very big role in my life um, and as a vocalist I was always interested in singing and you know and it was not always about the popularity or the fame you know I just love the concept of the art of music that is uh, you know that really encourages me or really motivate me in my life. 
The band recorded its first song, the straight-up rock track, Young Heart, at Element Indie. Music means everything to these youngsters. After finishing their routine work, they spend hours jamming together, honing their skills in pursuit of their dreams. They are committed to making a mark in the international music arena. I watched a concert uh, of John Mayer and I really fell in love with this guitaring and that's how I started playing and uh, I think I seriously started playing, you know, like giving my heart out playing. I started on the year 2010. Nagaland is possibly the only Indian state which has formed a separate government department called the Music Task Force to support and promote the huge talented pool of local musicians. Cultural events play an important role in promoting better understanding among people from different regions besides helping in highlighting the rich culture. Next we take you to Tripura where a cultural heritage festival gave the locals a chance to witness traditional art forms of the northeastern region as well as other parts of the country. Every state in India has its unique cultural identity. The northeastern region especially has a rich and diverse cultural heritage that needs to be promoted and preserved. Recently, a two-day-long cultural heritage festival held at the Nazrul Kalakshetra in Agartala brought together several traditional and folk artists from the northeast, West Bengal and Rajasthan. The festival was organized by the Asiatic Society Kolkata in collaboration with the Northeast Zonal Cultural Centre Dimapur. The event aimed at promoting the rich cultural heritage of different states, especially the northeastern region among the youth. If we uh, want to spread these cultural events uh, in uh, many places in North India, it will help us to, uh, uh, to uh, recover their cultural heritage, recover our Indian cultural heritage uh, more. So, Asiatic Society has started this program. Over 10 cultural teams put up an array of enthralling traditional and folk dance performances. Various indigenous tribes of the Northeast like Chakma, Naga, Kaloi, Lusai and Uchoi showcase their traditional dance forms. Events like these not only help change perceptions but also promote better understanding by providing a window to each other's culture. Promoting our culture through friendship, like friendship, uh, etc. And by coming here, we represent not only Nagaland but we also try to uh, what, um, improvise our, our culture. I think that this program is very good for one another. And I think that this program should be done. It should be done so that people should understand their culture, understand their cultural background. Such programs help bring together people from different Such programs help bring together people from different ethnic groups and facilitate the promotion and preservation of the indigenous culture of the region. With that, we've come to the end of this episode of Roving Report. I'm your host, Lumpim, signing off. Do send in your feedback and suggestions to roving at ANIN.com. Goodbye and see you next week.